Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Enshrouded Game Time. All right. Looks like I'm going to the bathroom right there. So I'm going to try out a different sword. I still have my other, you can see I still have this with me, the Light Forged Axe. I'm going to try out this White Wolf Sword. And I went from that bracelet kind of magical shield to this light shield that I, that I had to try this out because I kind of been getting my butt kicked a little bit in, in engagements. And one thing I noticed about this sword is, check out this thing called Retaliation. It says the 20% uh, of incoming damage is dealt back to the attacker. Uh, that could be huge. Plus it has shroud damage, shroud damage, shroud. Da it's all magic damage and I'm kind of specced into magic damage. So that's cool. And then I made some foods and this is going to be important here. So I made mushroom omelet. So that get, that's the mushroom, uh, each classification, you can only have one. So if I had regular mushrooms like I did before, those aura mushrooms, I can't eat this and that to stack the intelligence. So four intelligence for 40 minutes. That's the big one. Open sandwich. This is my strength and constitution. So this one is magic damage. This is melee damage and health. Then the fruit bowl, I've got health regen and stamina regen for 45 minutes. Pretty good. And I'm waiting to get more stuff to make a fourth one, a different one. But what I need to do is get, get better at my grow game here. I've got mushrooms. I've got chamomile, chamomile. I've got corn. I've got flax. What I need to start growing is wheat. I'll tell you what I need to grow. I need to grow saffron, wheat, honey, yucca purple berries strawberries and mushrooms so i mean i've got a lot of it I, i've been growing berries and mushrooms if you look in here you can see well i've i went through my berries a bit but i still got a lot of mushrooms plus the ones that are out there okay on strawberries right now as far as growing them totally ran out of honey it's one thing i haven't been collecting as i've been playing and now honey is needed for a few different things that I need, like possibly, I don't know if it's, I think it's the health potions too. Yeah, my health potions need honey. So, we have quests from these guys, some new quests, but here's the problem. They're in the Kindle Waste, the kind of the last area, that I'm not really ready to go in and kind of stand my ground with these fools. We might be able to get the Beehive Smoker. It's, it's in that area. See, here's this is the basically the line right here. This is Kindle Waste. This is uh, the Highlands. So it can do this. But here's the loom out here, and right here is the instruments for the lab. So this would be the beehive. So I've got these are kind of just ongoing things, but that one and that those two. I need this to start crafting other stuff, like nitrate for making better soil. But I think I'm going to knock out a couple of these other ones, see if I can get handy with it. Might do this, and then I can knock out a few of these guys here. So maybe we'll start with this VUCA encounter. It's It should go pretty quick, and let's go do that. Now, here's the other thing. I am building a new house right here, right kind of just southwest of center it's almost in the center of the map and i built it at the highest point that right there is the pillars of creation it's the highest point on the map as you can see look at that mountain view over there i built it on top of a couple of existing things here but i just i mean i just got to move all my stuff really i've got a workbench i've got a bed i got some storage to start and I made some higher level stuff in here. Like this is higher level, that bed is. This is made out of palm wood. That candle, this thing. All that stuff is like better than the stuff I have. But all right, VUCA encounter should be down here. But you can see how high I am. I can literally fly from here into the Kindle Waste if I want. It You fly probably three times farther 
than you do from the the to the spires. Now I fly far enough to um, actually run out of stamina, which I did a couple times and basically fell on my face. All right, we'll go see what's going on here. All right, so right now I just got a. I accidentally ate a mushroom thing, so it's ticking away. So the VUCA encounter is going to be down here. I'm going to go ahead and use my buffs, which I don't necessarily need for VUCA, but I'm going to do it anyway. And if you look up there at the top left of the screen, you can see with my skill points, I unlocked a fourth food buff, which is pretty awesome. All right, this should be just a quick thing. It, it did, it's like a, just a reward. It's nothing big, but I, I, I like to clear things off my list. This VUCA camp's been on here a while. I'll test my new sword out. I know that my, um, oh, there's no one here. I'll test against this guy. My new shield. Oh, that stunned both of us. Three hits on him. I think the other thing was still three hits. There's like literally nothing here. These VUCA, they like to live underground and in caves and stuff. Location reached. Okay, find the weapon in the VUCA camp. Oh, it's find the weapon. Maybe up here? Where are the VUCA at? There's, they're, uh, they're not even here. Was that legitimate? VUCA encounter. Did that just spawn another one? No. Nope. We finished it. That was it. That. See, some of these missions, you're like, whatever. Salvage it. All right. Now, I have something else over here. Journal. Oh, captured by Lupa. This is just another quick thing. So I did during the stream today. That should be right here. Oh yeah. Um, I don't know where where are we for me to actually f go back and fly here again? Probably closer. So that there's a city that sits out in this shroud and I went to it and I got the loom which allowed me to make leather which allowed me to make the large backpack now you can see it's all the way down to my to my hot bar location so that's pretty cool but I can't yeah there it's just like like the stuff I'm picking up now it's crazy that everything like everything's pushed me out of the kind of the nomad highlands into Get my magic damages. Look at that magic damage. Pretty solid. Uh, sometimes I've been killing the VUCA lately because um, they some of them carry eggs. And I need eggs for one of my recipes. So that town right there, I went to and I got the loom. This is a long run. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you the, the beauty of this house and why I think... I'm probably going to move. I mean, mostly for the fact it just looks really cool. You know, I need to do some repairs. Okay, repaired. It looks really cool. And it would be cool if I would have done it sooner. But now I'm, I'm kind of like almost done with the Nomad Highlands. I don't know if I got all the... Uh, Shre the there's the rot and the trees out but i was working on it i may have one left or something and i think i already got all the flame shrines i was just messing around this weekend that running around doing that stuff pretty cool so this town here was like captured by lupa this town right there to my left now we're gonna go I think to that little town up there to the right. And it looks like it's just encroaching on on the new area. Like the Kindle Waste. I think everything now, all my things are all in the Kindle Waste. I was in there. I killed a couple dragon thingies. I killed a couple uh, 
Oh, what were they? The scorpions? I thought it was going to be this on the right here, but I guess not. Now this... This should be fossilized bone, which I might want to get a little bit of this while I'm here. Fossilized bone, you got to make in a fossilized bone dust. It's I think that nitrate is one of the things for like fertilized um, farmland. And what that stuff does is it lets you grow four times faster. So I think like if you... Yeah, see, we're in the Kindle Waste now. Well, it is what it is. I might get one shot. I got hit by one of those guys. He took over half of my full health. Pretty pretty crazy. So fossilized bone. It's these big rib cages. There's I know there's two of them for sure over here in the One of them is right like if you go to the Kindle Waste Spire, you can jump right off and fly straight down to one big one and get all you want. It's just kind of a matter of time. You got to grind it away. I did I just ground all the stuff that I had down or I'm grinding it down currently. That's why I'm here. I might as well get a little bit of it. Yep, yeah, he's I I thought I heard him. Nope. Hasn't seen me. He made the noise like he was coming after me. Fossilized bone. That should be good. All right, so we're right at this place, 62. See, this thing here, that thing there, those ribs there, and then the spire is over there. Right down right down from the spire is, is one. Oh, is it that? It's not that area over there. So that area right ahead, that building, I believe that's called Bounty something. Bounty Barn? That's the only place that I know of that you can actually get wheat and then you can plant it. So if you're interested in wheat... Alright, there's some dang dudes down there that want to hurt me. I'm only shooting uh, wooden arrows. Those decent, but wooden arrows are... But man, you know, you can take a couple of twigs and build 50 wooden arrows. Like, no problem. It's it's crazy so you can see i have 200 of them i just didn't want all of them there at the same time oh look it's like a little thingy yeah take a little magic damage fools look at these things this is it oh another bow nice oh that's pretty good shadow main all right, captured by Lupa. Got that one done. All right, we're gonna have to go. These are too simple, I'll do these. Maybe uh, the beehive smoker, brittle bush in a tavern set as active. All right, so brittle bush. I think that's brittle bush there. I should have hit that to show me on the map. Beehive Smoker, show on map. I think it's this one. That one or this one? One of the two. It's this one. Look, at when it's inside... When it's inside, you can't see it. So, the fastest way to get there... Might be the Spire. I think Brittlebush is, a, is that big town that I ran by on my way over here. To get to this thing like there's a big town down there see um yeah that's it right there there it is what am i looking this way for if you look down from here that's north Oh, you know what? That other bone thing is at the other spire right over the, in the Nomad Highland. It's a bone thing just like that one down there, but that one right below me is in the shroud. I think that's Brittle Bush over there. So it's chock a block full of fools that are at max level for the game. Like, I think the max level for the game 
Might be level 30 enemies, something like that. And th that's they're all down here. So if I can spot the tavern and kind of just go to it, Yeah, I, de I definitely did this. So I skirted the edge of this town. And I'll show you why I know that. You see that? Well, there's a bridge right over there, right at the top of my head. It goes from there to there. I went around this town and went across that bridge. All right, so we've got... The main marker is just brittle bush. That's just brittle. This is where we want to go. That should be... That should be the uh, tavern. Alright, so what is not ticking? Wow. Oh, that has to be the meat. It has to be this one. Because it's the only... And then my mushroom one I need more of. Mushroom when I accidentally ate at the house. All right. See, that right down there could be the tavern. Or this thing right, yeah, right in the middle. Of course it is. Far away, fray tavern. See, there's a guy who wants to kill me. There's a guy. Oh, God, I hate that dude with the green. Why did that hit me and not him? Oh, that was his explosive things. Okay. That dude right there is like my arch nemesis in this game. He's so fat. Oh, these guys are level 23, not 30. I had hit some level 30 enemies. This guy here is so fast and he hits you so many times. And he's twice as fast as you if you're trying to run away from him. I might try starting to use a staff because my wands are like sh way short range. I might start using a staff because my mana regen is halfway decent now. There's another one of them right, right over there. Housekeeping! Oh, dried fur. That's interesting. Lock pick, okay. The the world hasn't really spawned here. More dried fur. So instead of hide, it's actually giving me dried fur, which is you have to do. You have to dry it. So it's like once the next step. Look, I could have came in there and still... They have me lockpick a place that has nothing in it? Rip off. That guy sees me over there. what I say we're looking for? A, a beehive thingy? Investigate Emily Frey's tavern in Brittlebush. More dried fur. Loot. Water, metal, lock of uh, feathers, mysterious flask of doom, torn cloth. Oh, here we go. Emily Frey's diary. Okay. I built this tavern in my own hands, therefore I cannot rest nor leave. I will work this soil until the end. Okay. Okay. Well, we're trying to get... Oh, I thought I just got a... Uh... Lockpick. Maybe that lockpick is this. Building materials. Okay, we're still investigating the tavern. That's just out front. No reason to go out front, man. It's deadly out there. No honey. That's what we needed. The honey thing. That's what we're here for. Alright, it just marked a new place on the map. 
Honey Misery. You watch, it's gonna put it somewhere wicked. Investigate the honey shipment route. Ah, oh, I gotta chase it. Oh no. Oh, it's way, look, it now it put it way over here by all this other stuff. I need to go here, here, oh shoot. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're doing it. We are doing it! So now that is... This is in an area I've totally not gone to. Looks like two areas. I'm going kind of right back over Brittle Bush. Huh. There's like a, you know, there's going to be something bad. The other stuff is over here to my right somewhere. The loom and the other thingy. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, that's not good. That's not good. No, he didn't see me. Look at, look at this road. Look at the road. Hey. Nice road, bro. All right, 400. It's got to be over there. On the other side of that. Maybe if I take this up higher, I can jump to it. Lapis, there's sulfur over there. This is such a dangerous area, man. There's so many things in here that can kill you. Quick. Kind of going away from it now. All right. This doesn't look safe. It's down that way. I just, I'm making a loop around this place. Sometimes these things are so hard. Now it's saying it's that. Sometimes these things are so hard to uh, figure out where the heck they want you to go. Oh, don't tell me it's down in the shroud. I'm nowhere near where I'm supposed to be. Dong. Three hundred. Now I did. I did just upgrade my flame shrine to the next shroud. So the shr I should be good with the shroud. Where am I? I'm here. It's over here. But I can't tell if that if it's in the shroud or not. I don't really don't want to go down through there. If I can help, I can, I'm not going to be able to get up through this. Dang it. Ah, oh, shoot. Dude, I'm getting schooled here. I'm getting schooled. Alright. Look at I just did all of this and there's Brittle Bush right there and I was like right in the corner of town. Sometimes going back is not the best route. Oh shoot. Hello. Eat magic damage, sucker! Ooh, eggs. Nice. Dude, my magic is finally on point. Saffron. Oh, thank you. Saffron. So this is just an intermediate point to my next point. It, it did show two points. Investigate the honey shipment route. So these guys here, like, um, they're passive until you attack them. And then, dude, they're like one shot you. But their meat, you can make a, like a meat, uh, roll up. It, it's like a, what do you call it? A, um, like a meat burrito kind of thingy, you know? Looks like someone got attacked here. Oh, the VUCA got killed. 
Okay, defeat the VUCA honey thief. Up there. Cool. All oh, these poor VUCA. Yeah, I'm getting some honey. I should get honey because I'm after the honey thing. This is going to be helpful because I told you guys I, uh, I didn't do good on the honey collecting, so... Look at it, it's turning green up here. Hopefully it's not turning night. Somebody told me I could put a, if I put down a flame shrine, I can put my bed down on it and sleep to, you know, instead of leaving and passing the time. It looks like we may be getting late in the day here. So I gotta defeat the VUCA honey thief. Sounds like a boss to me. You see how this thing winds around? I'm going back east, but I had to go west, then north, then east. So it, it, they make it sound like it's a VUCA, but I think it might be the thing that killed the VUCA. See, those look like indigo, but they're actually sage leaves. Oh, oh yeah, here we are. All right, so I ran out. Of, you can see how quickly the the old food that I used to use runs out. Oh, they are VUCA. So the this shock damage does really really good against them. So does the fire. There is a ton of them. Okay, they're higher level. So some of them have slingshots. Fireball, fireball. Here's the magican. There's the poison guy. Nice. All right. That's not that's not the boss. <laughs> that's just his minions. All right, everything looted. There's more. Yeah, baby. I gotta, I'm going to try fire damage. Oh, that's pretty effective, too. Holy cow. Housekeeping, one pillow? What's that red up there? Oh, yeah. Lava. I've been known to face plant into lava, so let's just stay away from that. Wow, did, did the VUCA actually kill their own people? So there's a place going in there. Looked like everyone from the camp was down front to welcome me. More lava. It's probably going to be one of those boss fight areas. Sure looks like it. What's in here? Nothing. I guess the VUCA might be miners as well, huh? VUCA sacrifice, okay. Oh, I just leveled up just walking in here. That can't. Jeez! It's a VUCA brawler, dude! Shoot! Oh no! Oh! 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 So my, uh, look at my health regen up there. It's pretty much on point. Oh, it's nighttime. Is he chasing? Nothing like fighting a 
spook a brawler at night. Dude, he is... Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, super stunned. Oh, jeez. Wow, I can't see it all. Wow, my timing is terrible in this game. I almost, I keep saying that. I almost think they need to put a time of dang day in this game, right? He's not being affected by this that much. Oh, nice. Oh, shoot. Definitely resisting that. Let's try fire. Jeez, he is stout. Effective criticals on him. I have a skill point unlocked that says the more wand damage I do, like back to back. Oh, wow. Look at it. I get stunned, he gets two hits. That is malarkey. Yeah, the more like consistent wand damage I keep doing, I don't know if you can see it go red in my hand. I think that does. Oh, jeez. Oh, God, that stun. And he gets two swipes at me. Too far for wand. That's why I need the staff. You're going down, buddy. You're going down. Oh, big boy. There's my beehive thingy. I got it. I got it. Look at those feet. Look at those feet, dude. Giant Ewok looking dude. All right, we out of here. So if I was going... Oh, who's... Dude. They make the noise like he's still alive. Did you hear that? He wanted to kill me again. All right. So, we got this beehive thingy. Oh, here we beehive go. smoker retrieved. Let's place that beehive smoker and maybe craft some honey beehives when it's time for harvest. We can cook up. Yeah, I need that. So I just need to place it first. All right, meat. So, furniture, beehive. Yeah, okay. Now, Welcome back. honey beehive. So, in order to craft, anything can be domesticated with enough patience used to produce honey and wax. So, logs, straw, and lumps of clay, which I have. See, here's that fertilized farm soil. You need that fossilized bone, but I need nitrate. And nitrate can only be made on the, the next thing I get for the alchemist. So, And I need this stuff to grow the stuff to make the better, you know, food, make the better health potions. All right. So I don't know. It says furniture. Like. Oh, it uses a lot of straw. This is a lot of str Stay safe. Okay, that's pretty big. Do I put him inside? It says furniture. What if I put him up here? Do I have bees inside my house? Wait a second. Oh my god. I just I crafted them because I thought you were gonna pl Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I crafted them because I thought I was placing them, but it is actually a crafting bench. Thank God I only had enough to craft three. Oh my goodness, what an idiot. Water and sugar. That's for honey. We don't want wax right now, we want honey. So, sugar. I mean, I've got sugar cane. Dude. Uh, 
Well, I, I could put two down if I wanted to go faster, you know. Well, you know what? I'm just going to delete the dang thing. Why don't you just put three down? All right, so to make sugar, I do have... I do have a bunch of sugar cane. See, that goes in there. Don't you give me the sugar... Give me that sugar and... Oh. Oh, I'm low on water. Wow. I was doing a lot of water collection. Let me kind of clear my inventory a little bit. Okay. All right. That goes in there. Salvage that. This is level 20, 22 power. Legendary. I might need to take a closer look at that. Got some wheat grains. Six greater. These are the bigger ones here. Got some arrows to put away. Eventually got some fossilized bone. I... Let's see. I don't think there's another level of this. Oh, there is. Saffron... Iron, haven't found iron yet. Lapis, yucca, and a fell sickle scythe head. I have not fought this guy. Not looking forward to that. That guy sounds like super duper aggressive. All right. Uh, ha, ha, ha. I can't believe I don't have that much water. All right, let's sleep the night away at least. I'm going to go outside and get some water. I, I just had like... 70 water or something. Like 70. I know there's ways to get water. You can... You put down your own well. You you take it. You pick it up. You put it down. You take it. Uh, whatever. Make what we can. These things take so dang long. That's it? Dude, it's been a long time since I pulled from that well. That... That was not that much water. Water is scarce around these parts, my friends. Alright, we got some water. Now, I gotta be... It wanted sugar, not sugar cane, right? So, t of course, two water to one sugar... Where the heck did my water go? Oh, right there. All right, so I got to figure out how to make sugar. That should be in the grinder? Nope. Okay, uh, what? Why wouldn't it be in the grinder? You got to grind it down in here? No, this makes, I'm making wheat seeds right now. How the heck do you make sugar? Come, share a man in a story. This thingy? No, that's just flatbread. This thingy is just cooks the regular stuff. Maybe you cook it? I gotta look it up real quick. Bear with me. Enshrouded. Sugar. Sugar. First step. Uh, farmer. Yeah, whatever. Don't tell me this first step. Where do you get sugar? I don't want a video of it. Click the farmer to craft in the menu. Look at supplies. Let me know what you need. Supplies. Yeah. And choose sugar. It's one of the top choice. What? Oh, it's got to be like an energy thing, right? Dexterity? Intelligence, healing. What? Oh, energy. Sugar, right there. Okay, so... There we go. Sugar time. I got confused. Woo! Alright, wow, dude, this is not good to have in the house. 
Where did I put the water in the first one? So I got 26 water in there. Let's take half out. Wants a two to one ratio. So we'll put 10 of these in here. And we'll put some in here. And we'll start making some honey. That, hmm. Yeah, that seems like, uh, I don't know. So wheat seedlings. So when you grab the wheat over at that village place I was talking about earlier. See, I think that, I think they said they could go anywhere, but you're probably better off putting it on here. Let me grab the chamomile, it's done. Now at my new house, I wanted to make like individual farming areas for each of those ones that I named off. And then, you know, make its own seed table. I think it would work pretty good. The only problem is it's like I'm getting kind of pretty close to being at the end of of what this access has right now until they add more to the game. So I just want to make this stuff so I have the ability to make my food buffs. But when you grab this stuff from that place, it's like a little farm and there's not much there. Like half you get is wheat seeds. Half The other half you get is actually straw. So I think the same thing might happen here. I don't think, I don't know if this will necessarily give us all wheat. Some of it might be straw. You kind of have to be careful where you place this stuff. Otherwise, you'll run out of room like super quick. And I did make the mistake of putting berries on here like this. And when I grabbed them, they were all not berries. All right, how much more? We got 12 more. They were just, uh, whatchamacallit. Oops, I messed that up. Yeah, it ruined a whole, uh, like a whole lot of berries bunches of them all right one more okay that'll be growing now if that was the fertilized the next level up that's going to be times four at the speed of how fast that stuff will actually go three more water that's all the water i had man i had like 70 or 80 water in here oh i still have 52 so i did have more water in here Cool. All right. So our next objective. Well, this thing, you know, I talked about the armor and the weapons where you don't get the good stuff to the end of the game. It's not necessarily true in this. You just don't get these cool looking ones. I can craft ones that are just as good or better right now. But this stuff here, this is like I'm over in the end game area for this stuff. Alchemist needs his old friend, research, her last known. His, see, she's on expedition, which means we're going to go to multiple places to find that. Here's the Hearts of Iron. This is right down in the shroud area that I wasn't able to clear, but now I am. So it means it's going to be super hard down in there. Look, there he is. That's that dude. Farmer confirms Sun Temple in Brittle Bush is haunted. This guy is the head that we need to upgrade our flame shroud. Hmm. That's scary. This is the hollow halls and a, another. This is the hollow halls. This is a long one. This would be a more than a full episode. The loom for the hunter. And the scientific thing are both out there. The reason why I'm staying on this page, when I go to the map, man, it really messes up my recording. These are all nothing. Uh, I really want this stuff here. Let's set that as active. Show it on the map. Oh, it's down there. All right, let's let's go. That's that's south of Brittlebush, but it, again, it's probably going to lead me somewhere else. Yeah, it should be right over here. Not right over here, but over here. So there's Brittle Bush. I see a building, but that looks too close.
After flying from my house, which is up ahead, straight up ahead of us up there on top of that big mountain, these ones seem like, man, everything is like revolving around that brittle bush. It's right there. I'm going to go up on top. If I can. Huh. I didn't repair my wands. I think I didn't even see me. Oh, I triggered him. Sorry. Oh, it must be that camp right there. All right. What do I have ticking away? I need my... that. Huh. Yeah, I need to get a fourth, the fourth food that's upgraded like, uh, like the other ones that last like 40 minutes. I don't know what you do with these Kindle Waste flowers, but... So this is going to definitely tell me to go somewhere else. If I don't trigger that dude. A new venture! Hey! I might have left my scientific behind at Eldemer Dam. Where the draconian vultures came... Oh, great. Explore the ancient dam. Where is this at? Up here. Oh, look. It's... Oh, I might actually be better off going back to the, no the Nomad Highlands one. Maybe. Man, I don't know if I can get... I have to clear that cliff. I have to clear that dang cliff. Do I fly over here, maybe? Oh, dude, so low. No, I'm not going to make it. Nope. Oh, shoot, dude. These... You think you're going to fly a long way on those towers, and you just don't. Like, after using my house... Oh. Man, I'm way far... That place is in the middle of nowhere from these things. It's I'm going to have to hoof it. That's that VUCA... So going from the other tower wasn't good. Going from this tower is not good either because I have to go all the way down and around like this. I'm on the just on the wrong side. Now, to get up to my house, I didn't tell you guys, but it took me like an hour. I used the pickaxe, right, and bombs to make my way up. And it was like, see up there where it goes straight? Yeah, it, that's what took forever. Man. You just literally don't get any momentum off those spires. I just killed your fr Hey, don't be throwing rocks. Eggs. Now there was the... Th what is that? A little ghost over there. There was that shroud area I could run through, but I don't really feel like running through that. Not a big fan. Not a big fan. This looks like it's closed in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I can kind of see over there. I don't know if I can... through here hopefully it's a road oh I'm actually pretty close to it now it's gonna be just up to our left I did see like a building that kind of looked like the hollowed halls building but I, I know where that's at I'm not carrying my key for it like I said that the last two hollowed halls that I did they were 
two hour adventures. Okay, something ha Oh, jeez. Try my sword on the- oh, saffron. Dude, I'm not returning any damage to him. Damage, dude. That, dude. I cannot. I can't hurt. Them. Dude, that is a lot of hits. That's a lot of hits. You're like, why don't you use your sword? Uh, I think you can see why. That's a lot of hits. I am specked into magic, though. All right. Yeah. Well, we got vultures. Our dra draconian. Douchers, whatever he called them. Bones in the sand. Guess I have to go in. I don't know if I have to go inside here. Is that an experience one? Nope. They have ones that give you a little bit of experience. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. He's right on me. He's level 23. A little higher. Yeah. Eat, eat wand. Eat wand. Ex explore the ancient dam. This is a dam? This doesn't look like a dam to me. This does not look like a dam. Aw, oh, dam. Oh, shoot. Yeah, stay away from me. Oh, what's in his nest? Oh, there it is! Ha ha! Dude, he was sitting on it! What the deuce? Mystery of Eldemir Dam. Yeah, it doesn't look like a dam to me. It looks like one of those thingy. What is that? Twigs for days. Hey, no, no, I didn't say climb down, stupid. All right. Hey, we got it. We got it. Jeez. No, I, th this is another reason why I want to get my new house going i hate scrolling all the way back to that beginning area so we got that that worked out better than i thought sometimes man the 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 topography of everything could really mess with you now this guy should have let me allow me to make nitrate now manage to build a laboratory scientific so we can craft he lands behind imagine yeah okay so ice bolt Glowing substance, scientific instruments. So I can craft them now, I get laboratory. I made that already. No, 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 I didn't. That's Safe this, travels. what is this thingy? This, the alchemy station. I need to make the laboratory now. And, oh my gosh. I thought I just needed this. I don't even know what this is. I can make fired bricks, not an issue. I can make, I'm pretty sure I can make glass, not an issue. I've got copper, but what is this? A Thanor? Dude, what is a Thanor? I'm gonna look it up real quick so you guys know too. A Thanor. You can craft it at an alchemy station with glass, bronze, lumps of clay. Yeah, you can craft this with all this other stuff. You can craft it here, apparently. Uh, no, you can't. I don't see it. You can craft a Thanor at the Alchemy Station. You need 10 glass, 10 bronze, 5 lumps of clay. Um, I think they're liars. Dude. Um... 
Maybe I need to make glass. For, sometimes you have to get something and then it unlocks other things. Like maybe, I'm pretty sure I saw where I can make glass. Glass is made. Once you get sand, I have sand. The smelter. Is this the smelter? Glass, there it is. Sand and charcoal. All right, I... That's weird because I swore I had sand and it's saying I didn't have any or I didn't have enough. Dude, I swore I had sand. You just, you dig the ground. Maybe I, I didn't dig the ground that much. Sand, 103. Oh, those things don't draw from this, does it? They, they you, you have to grab it manually for these things. Makes sense. All right, we're gonna make some glass. So when I make the first glass, it may unlock the, the recipe in here because it requires glass. Anyway, all right, you guys, that's gonna do it for this one, but let me know down in the comments what you think. Should I bother moving? I don't know. I mean, cause look, when I move, I wanna have like, like I said, I wanna make the fields like this, see how the corn is? I'll make, you know, individual fields like this corn field. Ooh, honey. I can't believe I was so low on honey. Well, I'm actually out of honey. Do that, and then the stuff in here, I just grab everything that's in there, take it over there, bring the chest, grab everything. All this stuff would easily be moved. I can pick up all my furniture, and I can respawn these guys, and all their stuff I can pick up and take it i could probably probably take all that in one go so the move actually wouldn't be that big of a deal it's just whether i want to do it or not i don't know just something different let me know down in the comments what y'all think the stream said yes definitely move let me know what you all think all right see you next episode